Okay, so here's a project I'm working on. I wanted my trolling motor to be able to run wireless wirelessly for the prop. I also can control this with the uh, a steering mechanism that I made, which I can either it can either be steered the way it was meant to be, and I can steer it wireless also. But I wanted to show this before I got it all back together. Because once it's back together, you won't be able to see. This is how I'm, I'm doing it. I'm not very electronic savvy as far as being able to manipulate this uh, control board potentiometer system to uh, work with a wireless remote. So I, I did it mechanically. What I did was I bought a little motor. I bought an extra speed a potentiometer for the trolling motor that cost 25 bucks this little tiny 6 volt motor that I'm running it off 12 volt but it's a 6 volt motor that I bought cost like 8 bucks and I made a little frame and I put a piece of uh, shrink wrap between the two shafts and I was going to put limit switches on here so it can only go so far one way and the other but as it turned out, after I put the, the shrink wrap on here, if it goes too far, the shrink wrap just slides around the shaft. Nothing is going to be broke. It just continues to slide either way that I turn it. So the way I got it is, I like when I do projects, I like to keep it so I can use it manually. In other words, what I'm saying is, if I'm not using it wirelessly, I still will be able to use it with the tiller handle to control the speed, and vice versa. So this is how I did it. Here's the, the new potentiometer I bought. Here's the original one that goes on the tiller handle. And I bought one of a uh, few of these little triple pole, triple throw switches. And I connected the middle going into the motor, one side for this potentiometer and one side for the other potentiometer. They have three wires, both of them, so that's the, the reason for the triple pole, triple throw switch. So this is just a cheap little wireless remote I bought here. I think it costs like 10 bucks. I've had it for a while. I, use them for different things so I got this switch over here and if it's forward that's going to be for the handle and then if I want to use it say I want to go to the front of my raft and steer or and I uh, control the speed I can sit right in the front seat and do it with my wireless when I push it back that's wireless so Here's the remote, and now I got it set up for wireless. You can see the prop. And I just hit this remote in little increments for speed. It's pretty responsive. And I was initially I was going to put some limit switches on there so, like I say, so it wouldn't overshoot it and put strain on the uh, or break something, but it, it, it slides so that's like a safety feature in itself. Now when I want to run it from the tiller, which is this when I put it back on, I just flip this switch forward. And here's the potentiometer that will go on to the tiller handle. And as you can see, it. so I'll be able to use this either way. If something fails, I'll still be able to use it the way it was intended to be used. And I also was going to put a little contact pin to let me know when it's off but you could actually hear the relay click off 
So I know when it's when one's off, I can start the other. So everything's gonna fit in here. I already, I already pre-fit everything, and everything will fit in there when I get it organized. And the top will be able to go on. The only thing I did was there's a power indicator on the top. When you hit the button, it lights. There's four lights in there. The lights will come on to let you know how much power there is. That's useless to me. I have a, a LED um, multimeter type deal that I read my power with. It's more accurate and lets me know exactly. So I got rid of all that just to make room for all the junk I'm putting in here. And there will be enough room to fit everything in top. So... After I get this all together, or I'll, let, I'll take a video of this. You can see how the motor turns. Let me flip the switch backwards. Back to remote. And I know it's hard to see, but I do got a mark on there. It's that little black mark right on here. You can see how fast it turns. Then you can go in little increments. So when I get it all together, I'll do another video and I'll show you how it works. Thanks for watching.